Well, happening this weekend, a celebration of pride and cinematic thrills are coming together in a brand new film festival. It's called Queer Screams Film Fest, the Portland event celebrating LGBTQ plus movies from emerging and established queer artists. And it's not just horror films, but uh, all kinds of fun stuff coming up. Joining us on the couch with a preview of all the thrills that await you at the Clinton Street Theater is festival director J.T. Seaton. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Thank you for, for having me. Glad Thanks you're here. here. I love the idea for, for this festival. Tell us kind of what inspired Queer Screams. Uh, I used to run a film festival in New Orleans called NOLA Horror Film Fest. And one of the things that I tried to do with NOLA is to definitely incorporate as many LGBTQ artists as possible, also celebrating uh, female filmmakers. And in 2021, the festival got written up in Movie Maker Magazine as one of the top 50 genre film festivals in the world. Oh. And one of the things they highlighted was our focus on LGBTQ filmmakers and uh, female filmmakers. And so when I moved up here to Portland and decided to create a new film festival, I decided to kind of make that more my focus. Mm. So it's a little bit more niche and kind of focus more on the LGBTQ film festival aspect of it and the um, basically underrepresented filmmakers. Mm -hmm. Well, that's you kind of touched on exactly the direction I wanted to go with this, which is why why this marriage, why this niche that you that you have it here with uh, you know horror films and the LGBTQ plus community. Why does this work so well? Well, it works really well because uh, LGBTQ audiences really identify with horror films and basically because um, we see ourselves as the other. You know, uh, the other would be considered like the monster or the outcast of society. Hmm. You know, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is a perfect example. Here is a creature created by its, you know, creator, mm -hmm. loved in the beginning by, you know, its creator, and then hated by the townspeople because it's different than everybody else. And then eventually the creator rejects the creation. Mm. And so there's a lot of connections between those types of stories and LGBTQ uh, you know, teens and young adults and anybody coming out kind of has to deal with. So there's a, a connection and so we identify with the other in those stories. And we yeah. also identify with what is considered the final girl in those stories. You know, in horror films, usually the final girl is the awkward, shy, you know, part of the group, huh. you know, not popular, not with the popular kids. All the popular kids are going off having sex and drinking, mm. <laughs> and she's, you know, probably in the corner studying, and uh -huh. they all get killed, and she's the one that has to she's fight for her life. She's the last one standing. <laughs> she's yeah. the last one standing. Yeah. But, you know, she has to fight for her life, and it's the yeah. same thing with uh, us when the, in the queer community. We have to fight for our representation, mm. and so we identify with both the final girl and the monster being, you know, you know, what an interesting lens. Yeah, yeah. I like that way to look at it. Well, so tell us about some of the films that we're going to be screening at this year's festival. Well, we have a whole slew of brand new films from LGBTQ filmmakers. Uh, some great films uh, like The Latent Image from the UK. Uh, Shadow Puppets is a great short film uh, that was created by a um, youth summer camp. Wow. Yeah, they kind of put that together as part of their uh, part of their creation. We have several local filmmakers. Uh, Night Shift is a local film. In the Basement is a local film. Oh, cool. And then we're also doing some retro screenings. We're doing uh, Shivers and the Crazies, both from the 1970s. And actress Lynn Lowry is going to be there on Friday night to introduce those films and do a QA. and a And then our special guest is Sam Irving, who is a director of Note. And his big film uh, in the horror community is Elvira's Haunted Hill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we're screening that on Sunday night. Oh, wow, a lot lined up. And, and I do want to, you know, I'll, I'll ask you where people can get tickets, but this isn't just horror movies either, right? You no. branch off into other genres. Yes, it's it's a it, that's why it's called actually an LGBTQ genre film festival. So it's a lot of horror, but also science fiction, fantasy, thriller, dark comedy. Mm -hmm. You know, all of those fall within the genre umbrella. Okay. You know, and the idea behind this festival was to create a, an event and not just a film festival where people come and see movies and leave. That's why we're having live performances as well. Yeah. Body Academics from the film Evil Babylon, which is also a local Portland uh, film that was created by local artists. And then uh, also Hella Haunted and uh, Violet Wanda are 
doing drag performances on Sunday night. Oh, so we have live performances by those people as well in order to kind of create more of a community event. Nice. So if you're someone who, like me, if you watch a scary movie, then has to turn the lights on and watch something funny <laughs> before you go to Gotta bed, the palette. you can still come to this festival. Yes. Uh, and it's going to be at the historic Clinton Street Theater, which is fantastic. So how can people get tickets? Yeah, the best way to get tickets is to go online to the Clinton Street Theater website. Uh, uh, CSTPDX.com <laughs> is the website for tickets for that. And uh, yeah, we have tickets for the, the whole weekend. You can buy like a weekend pass. You can buy a uh, VIP pass, which will get you into everything and also get you assigned seatings and autographs and you can cool. see Rocky Horror Picture Show okay. on Saturday night as part of that thing as well. Have to have Rocky um, Horror there. Gotta as have well. Rocky Horror. <laughs> of course, it's an institution. I mean, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yes. Uh, but more information about the films themselves can be found on QueerScreams.com, where you can see trailers of all the films, uh, a description of all the films, uh, pictures, and things like that. So you can mm -hmm. kind of get an idea of what you're getting yourself into. Awesome. All yes. right. Well, there's the info there for you right there. A festival director, JT Seaton. Appreciate you being here and appreciate the sneak peek. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be great fun. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. Mark those calendars this Friday through Sunday. QueerScreams.com for that info.